I'm Mary Rachel Redman inside the Indiana Farmers Coliseum at the State Fairgrounds. And as you can see behind me, March Madness has officially tipped off. The only college championship being played in the Circle City this year, the Horizon League Men's and Women's Basketball Championships. And the brains behind the operation that makes it all happen, Julie Rowe Lash, the commission who brings quite a resume of her own to the hardwood. <laughs> From an All-American on the court at Milliken to becoming the first female commissioner of the Horizon League in 2021, Julie Rowe Lash has made quite a splash in her two short years as commish. Including a multi-year media deal to extend the league's partnership with ESPN and securing the Horizon League championships in Indianapolis for the next four years. Never stops. So this is kind of behind the scenes at the Horizon League Championships. Right. You know, we've got the uh, the cheerleaders here. We've got the pep band over here. Right. So, so how do you how do you manage all of this in a couple days? It's, well, it's absolutely our team. We've got a small but mighty staff that we we throughout the year we work on the logistics. Where do the buses go? Where do the fans enter? Making sure they all have credentials. And this is the best part, right? Because I, all of our teams bring their cheer and dance and their bands. So it is a full collegiate experience. It's not just the teams, it's so many of the other collegiate stu students being a part of the action. Why is Indianapolis a great headquarters for, for the Horizon League? Well, it's a great place for our tournament because we said we want to be in a central location and a destination city. Our headquarters has been here for now 40 years. This is the perfect home, I think, for any, any sport, especially basketball. But our city has really embraced the Horizon League and helped us make our champ, and not just this championship, we host other championships here too, make them community events that amplify. Name, image, likeness mm -hmm. has really changed the landscape of college sports. You know, in terms of the Horizon League and, and mid-major mid mm -hmm. uh, sports, especially women, what have you seen? In the Horizon League, it's been an incredible opportunity. We said, how can we bring together all 3,000 of our student athletes and capitalize on that? Mm -hmm. So we struck a deal with Open Doors, which is a national vendor in this space, created a league-wide online marketplace. It's a little bit like Match.com, but very safe <laughs> and student athletes go on there they build their online personas and then brands go on and can hire them it's not just the money no right? it's not at all but it is there is some money to be made there when we checked in with open doors and got the report our top three earners student athletes were three women's basketball student athletes from Youngstown State and they had gotten together and frankly talked about how to build their brand and then they really learned how to take advantage of this marketplace so those three together were just under forty thousand dollars that they earned combined it is a real learning opportunity and our women's student athletes have they are our highest earners right now what can people expect from the Horizon League, you know, in the next couple of years? You're going to see incredible Division I competition happening in our league, and then you're going to see us impacting our communities, not just in Indy, but in our, our six-state, ten-city footprint. 2023 season, kind of slowly, you know, for men's basketball, women's basketball kind of slowly comes to an end. What, what are you most proud of as, as commissioner of this year? I'm proud of what you see right out here, our student-athletes. They are not only making it happen on the court. We have over 1,000 student-athletes that are on the Horizon Lake Academic Honor Roll. They are leaders in their community, making real impact, doing the behind-the-scenes service, because anytime an athlete walks in a room, a child's face lights up. I'm proud that we are able to represent them and provide this platform. Well, perhaps the best college hoop story in the country this season involving a Hoosier coach with deep Indiana roots. In just nine seasons at the helm, Terry Marin has taken a bottom-of-the-barrel program in Bloomington to one of the premier teams in the country. Marin made IU history, packing him to the rafters at Assembly Hall on senior night for the first ever sellout in IU women's basketball history. Marin, a Seymour, Indiana native, played college hoops at in-state rival Purdue, but she's traded in the Golden Black for Cream and Crimson, and it's a good look, especially as head coach. 
approach. Her Hoosiers are 27 and 3 on the season and looking at a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. I am obviously humbled by all of it, um, but uh, none of this is done alone, as you know. Uh, I have a terrific staff, one of the best in the country, with a terrific uh, team uh, that has really propelled, uh, you know, this 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 happening. And um, I can't tell you how grateful I am for those people that I get to work with every day. Um, but um, you know, we have we have hopefully a lot of basketball ahead of us. Again, the Hoosiers likely a number one seed for the first time ever in the NCAA tournament. Either way, a historic season for Terry Morin and the Hoosiers. I'll be back later on the show with some more on some popular new women-owned businesses, including a place for plant people to meet, a speakeasy, and more around Indiana with Yelp's Brittany Smith. Plus, a dirty task for anyone caring for a baby is going high-tech at the Indianapolis International Airport. More on Bluey's new partnership with the airport.